Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Board of Selectmen's May 31st meeting. Uh, this, we like to call this our last meeting of the season. <laughs> following this, following this meeting, um, we will um, be into the next fiscal year. So, for the first order of business, uh, first of all, please accept. Mr. Jeffrey's apologies for not attending this evening, but his son uh, was receiving an award, and we insisted that he go to the award ceremony rather than come Absolutely. to this meeting. Even though we kept thinking it, it was Thursday and gave him advice that the meeting <laughs> was Wednesday, but once we got that straight, we were set. So the first order of business this evening is to reorganize the Board of Selectmen, and so with that, I'd like to make a motion to nominate Candace as the, McCann as the chair. Thank you. Second. Which is a little awkward. <laughs> she has to second her own. All in favor? Aye. Thank All right. You, so Robert. now Thank you, you, I'm passing the gavel. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I want to congratulate you. It's a pleasure to be able to continue our work here on the Board of Selectmen, and I'm so glad to do this in, tan in tandem. We've been two together for a part of this past year, and here we are tonight, two right. together. <laughs> so um, we're used to this. Time. That's exactly right. Um, thank you very much. I also would like to share with everyone before we start that our flags are at half-mast in town due to the passing of a previous selectman, a beloved man here in town, Nick Saris. Um, I just wanted everyone to understand why the flags were at half-mast. Um, first on, on the agenda is to talk about the board's summer meeting schedule. Um, would you like to speak, Greer, to that? Uh, sure. We, uh, in the summer, traditionally, the Board of Selectmen meets once a month for the months of June, July, and August. Uh, a lot of boards tend to you know, really scale back during the summer months and take a you know, little new year. Enjoy, summer enjoy the summer okay. if That's it comes. <laughs> Wonderful, and then in September, we'll go back to our two me meetings a month. Oh, yes. Excellent, okay, perfect. Um, what, would it work for you if we had sort of talked a little bit about some dates, hoping that it worked for everyone in, in uh, the department? I'm thinking about the 29th of June, the 20th of July, and the 17th of August. Does that work for you? Those, those work really well for me. Wonderful. And I think they should work for John because I believe he travels the first week of every month. Right. So that would. And we'll certainly keep people apprised, but if by any chance we needed to change one for John, then we'll definitely okay. uh, be able to move that around. Excellent. So I would entertain a motion. All right, so I'll make a motion to set our summer <coughs> meeting schedule for Thursday, June the 29th. Thursday, July the 20th, and August, and Thursday, August 17th. Excellent. Second. All in favor? Aye. See, I'm good. I, that's great. That's you. I know, but we're, we're, <laughs> we're, we're in tandem. That's right. great. So now what, usually when do we vote to go casual? When the chair declares. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think it's a great time, okay. and I think as the, the weather changed at 4.30 this afternoon, I suddenly <laughs> wished for casual. Me too. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> so let's say from this point forward, if that's fine, I would move. Do we need a motion? Nope, that's no? a chair that's prerogative. Good. All right, let's, let's make it casual now until we get back into the fall. Once a week and casual, once a month and casual meetings. That's right, great, excellent. Um, the next on the agenda is the Eversource poll petition. Would you like to speak, sure. please? Uh, Christine Crosby, at the Source Energy. Great. And we're requesting permission to install two new poles on the street. Uh, and these poles are necessary in order to provide the electric service to the solar project. Right. And we previously petitioned for two pole locations out there, and they were approved by the town. But um, there were some problems when they went out to do some of the work on private property. They wanted to avoid the landfill. Okay. 
So they have to extend the wires further down the road. Okay. I think that's why I call for the additional tolls to be put in. Excellent. Robin, do you have any question or no, concern no. about that? No. Right. Dave, are we fine with that? Absolutely. Okay. Excellent. Wonderful. Then I would entertain a motion. Okay, so I'll make a motion to um, approve the two additional Eversource poles on Pawisset Street for the purpose of connecting the solar array to the grid. Okay. Great. Second. All in, All in favor? Aye. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming to the meeting, too. Yourself. Yes, thank you. Just for Great. Canvas. No, that's all, all of you, actually. Okay. Yeah. All three sheets. So we all sign on the one line? Yeah. <laughs> this is a yeah, trick. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, yeah. Yeah. all right. Oops. That's all right. Just, just fall. I'll fall. I'll fall. Don't okay. worry. All right. I signed in the wrong spot. Oh, <laughs> I'm number three oh, now. <laughs> I'm, I'm number three now. Next on the agenda is executing the Dover Police Association side letter of agreement. Greer, would you mind speaking to that? Sure. Um, the Dover Police Association has asked for the board to sign this side letter of agreement that they will receive 30 days notice um, if there is to be any um, significant construction um, for alterations over at the protective agency's building. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Robin, do you have any questions or no. thoughts about that? Um, I'm, I'm sure this allows for better planning on their right. behalf, so right. I, see no, I see no issue with that at all. Excellent. Wonderful. Then I would move that we execute the Dover Police Association side letter of agreement. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. There we go. Thank you. Next on the agenda is the Whiting Road license agreement. I believe we have an ongoing um, lease arrangement with Dover Automotive and we're continuing for the next year under substantively the same terms so do you any thoughts on that Robin or are we good with that I'm, I'm good I, I know he's been a really good tenant mm -hmm. I see no 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 problem running with the lease good I, I think it's great wonderful it certainly provides a service to many residents Absolutely. in the town that's right I would entertain a motion. Okay, so I'll make a motion to renew the lease between Dover Automotive for use of a portion of Five Whiting Road, um, the terms being substantively the same as the terms from the prior year. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The next item is executing the Massachusetts Department of Transportation Chapter 90 contract and designate town administrator as the authorized signatory on Chapter 90 documents. 
Mr. Ramsey. Madam Chair, this is the annual Chapter 90 contract that authorizes us to receive and expend funds from the Commonwealth to maintain our local roads. Excellent. So we do this every year. Yes. Right. And, and I am I reading this correctly that for fiscal year 2018, the the funds will be two hundred and eighty one thousand and eleven dollars. Wonderful. And does part of this, am I correct, that this also contributes to the road work and the bridges? Is that all this is, or is that really a part of this? It's only basically asphalt and dirt. Uh huh. I see. It's wonderful. Great. Then I would move that we execute the Massachusetts Department of Transportation Chapter 90 contract. Second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And we would move also that we designate you, Mr. Ramsey, as the um, authorized signatory for the Chapter 90. Second? Second. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The next item is from the Council on Aging. They have written a letter that they would like to send out to seniors in town um, for a variety of reasons. They're hoping to identify more people who could participate in the Council on Aging and who would like to enjoy the services that are being provided by COA now. And they're also reaching out because I think they feel that in identifying more people that they can broaden the services if, if uh, there are people who um, have ideas about how that could be. So what they're doing is they have given us a letter that they would like us to approve and that they would like to put on selectmen stationery and into a selectman envelope, a town envelope hoping that people will open it and read it. Um, and I hope the same thing. So I think it's a lovely idea. I think that I've had the privilege of participating in some of their meetings, and I do understand there is a strong desire to reach more people in town. And that's always, that's easier said than done. What do you think? Um, and their letter also highlights some of the new programs that they have. So it's not just the coffee hours, but they have trips to New York and Montreal. They have fitness programs. They have health clinics. They have luncheon trips to Boston Theater. So they really are trying to reach more of the Dover citizens. Uh, you know, and, and I hope they're successful with this letter. When, they, when we first began discussing it, I thought a postcard might work better, but I hope I'm proven wrong mm -hmm. and that people will open an envelope from the Board of Selectmen. So I'm really eager to, to see how many responses they get. I agree, and I, I know they're eager too. The other thing that they're doing so much with is these um, they're pro offering a number of classes right. in this lifetime learning. Which, which is well attended. Exactly. Right. right. So we have a lot of interesting subjects that are being covered now. And I think many of them are being recorded, uh, which is right. great. Right. right. Beyond, and in fact, would they go on the website for perhaps some of them? Right. Uh, they have. They Not yet. Have no. 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 Okay. Anyway, I think that the letter is a great idea, and it would certainly be fine with me if they wanted to use our selectmen and stationery. Right. I, I, I agree with that, with that. You know, I'm pleased to see that they're really branching out right. on the programs that they're offering. And, you know, certainly there are many people that may enjoy some of these programs. So if we can get the word out, mm -hmm. I'm sure this is one of many ways they're trying to get you know, the other thing, and I, this is just sort of, it just occurred to me that it's another important point for all of us to realize in town how helpful the Carroll Community Center is for the Council on Aging. 
They have classrooms that are available for lifetime learning. They have classrooms available for yoga. They have um, meeting rooms. They have certainly social event rooms. They have <coughs> their own office space there. It's um, really one of the anchor agencies in Carroll Community Center. And so I think that this is another reason why there's such potential for growth. It would be a good opportunity. So do we need a motion on this? Good. Um, would you like to make the motion? All right, so I make a motion. So we're making a motion just to send this C of A letter on Selectman's letter. That's the motion. So I make a motion to, um, to approve sending the C of A outreach letter on Selectman's letterhead under that name. And I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Does this make extra work for you? Uh, it's fine. It's part of what we do. Um, they will be individually addressed. So once they're all uh, printed up, but it's, you know. It's, it's a mail merge, right? That's right, it's a mail merge. But so still. It should be quite easy. Okay, because yeah. I, I, I hate to volunteer extra work for you. Uh, it might be more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to do that. That's fine. To do that. <laughs> okay. All right, well, thank you. That's, that would be great. Okay. That would be great. Okay. Thank you. Just over 60. The next item is to accept and expend the Historical Commission's gift. And in inquiring about this, um, this is my understanding, Mr. Ramsey, is that this is the replacement of the St. Dunstan's historical marker on the, the church. I believe that I have heard part of that discussion in that it just has worn with age. I believe that's correct. Right. So um, are you fine with that? I am, and we need to specify that it's a $75 gift. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Excellent. Would you like to make the motion? So I'll make a motion to, um, to approve the Historical Commission's gift in the amount of $75 to replace the historical house marker on St. Dunstan's Church. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Excellent. We're busy signing, Candace. Okay. Thank you for not, when you don't feel so well, for coming in tonight. <laughs> Mrs. Hunter's been kind enough to come when I know she doesn't feel very well because Mr. Jeffries is not here. So. Right, and we right. clearly have a lot of administrative <laughs> tasks to do. That's right. Anyway, I appreciate it. Oh, it's my pleasure. I just hope I don't get anybody sick. No. <laughs> so. They threw me out of work. <laughs> oh, did they? Yeah. Sent you home? We don't, want any, we don't want to get sick. Mrs. Pugash, would you mind speaking to the next item, the agenda item of, of the cemetery reflection? Sure. The uh, cemetery commissioners have asked for the selection to authorize the expenditure of $5,481.76 for the cemetery reflection garden. Uh, a number of donors um, gave to this fund um, in memory of a resident, a, a, a younger mother who passed away. So this would be um, to create a, a reflection garden at the top of the hill, I believe. Right. Yeah. It's a beautiful location where, yeah, when I, when I walked the cemetery, I, few months ago with the commissioners, they pointed out where they were planning to put this reflection garden, and it really is a beautiful spot. It's over to the side. It's a big, grassy area, and the view from there is really nice. So oh, yeah. I may have to go there someday and reflect. <laughs> right, right. It's a wonderful idea. Yeah, it is a very nice. It, it just, even walking, walking there, it felt... A, very peaceful. Just, just, I just was, where it is. I was moved as I am every year uh, at the Memorial Day 
uh, service and parade yesterday and walking, the opportunity to walk with lots of people together through the cemeteries, really it's a very special space. I mean, it's a very beautiful ceremony on Memorial Day anyway, but it's a beautiful space. And so to share that and to have this right here in the center of town is a, 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 a real privilege. It's, it's very nicely done. It's low key, Carol mm -hmm. Jackman and Jay Sullivan uh -huh. do an excellent job Wonderful pulling job. it together each year. I agree. And Great. the weather cooperated this year, so that was nice. That's it wasn't right. 95 degrees. <laughs> right. So you would like a motion to expend, we would, I would move that we would expend the cemetery of garden funds for the reflection pool. Do In I hear a second? A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good. So in terms of other business, all right, so let me sign this. Thank you. We have, let me let's see, be sure that I um, explain this. We have a prior notice, notice to the warrant committee um, for the amount of $8,000. Um, they would be monies used to cover the cost of services associated with the disposition of 46 Springdale Avenue. The present balance in the account is $8,722.90, and so we are looking for an additional $8,000, correct? Um, my understanding is that we would like to authorize Mrs. Pugach to go ahead and to handle the appraisal uh, for 46 Springdale and that we are expecting, is this within this? It, yes. So, yes this, so this covers that. This, right. Yes, should cover that, not to exceed. Same. Exceed, you're thinking not to exceed 7,500? 7,500 right. and also, um, if you would, to um, authorize Mr. Ramsey mm -hmm. to sign to execute the agreement. agreement once we receive it from the appraiser so that we Wonderful. can get this going. Uh, okay. Given that your next meeting is in you know, several weeks away. Exactly. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think it's worth noting that this is, we're statutorily obligated to to do, to do this proposal. It's just one of the steps when you're disposing of, of property right. by the town. That's right. In, uh, yeah, in right. public, real property. So this is step one, and then would follow then the RFPs for the Realtors and the RFP around the sale of the front property yes. as per the town meeting. Yes. Good. Excellent. I would entertain a motion. All right, so I would make a motion. Two? Do I have to need, do I need to make two motions or can I make it all in one motion? You can do it in one, Mrs. Hunter, if you feel up to it. Okay, all right, I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay. So first I'd like to make a motion to approve a prior notice in the amount of $8,000 um, to cover services associated with the disposition of 46 Springdale. In addition to that, I would like to make a motion to authorize the town administrator to execute a contract for the appraisal of 46 Springdale in an amount not to exceed 7,500. Excellent, second, do I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And we're into special licenses, yeah. right? Um, Slow down a bit, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we have retroactive May 23rd, a memorial service at Elm Bank. June 25th, an event at Connor Center. July 16th, the Crush Wine Festival at Elm Bank. July 22nd, surprise 80th birthday party. It's not going to be such a surprise after this. <laughs> at Craft Hall in Dover Church. And October 8th, a wedding reception at Elm Bank. 
Um, and I know that uh, Chief McGowan has considered all of these and signed off on all of these. Do I hear We're a not motion? giving away who surprised me. No, that's <laughs> right. That's right. That's right. Do I hear a motion? So I make a motion to approve the special licenses as as listed. Excellent. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Seems thicker. Doesn't it? Yeah. I think it's the recycled. I wondered if it was humidity. Maybe. Paper is puffy. <laughs> Next, we have our minutes from May 11th, the meeting on May 11th. And as always, I want to thank you very much. Right. Well. I, have, I have no changes. These yeah. were really good. Absolutely. And we, we uh, had a lot of things. It was a were, long meeting. Right, was a, <laughs> important things were done. It's great. I move that we accept the minute, minutes from the meeting of May 11th, 2017. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No citizens' comments. Aye. Well, do you have anything for the good of the order, Mr. Ramsey? I do not. Happy supper. Do we announce this? There's no harm in it. All right. Would you like to? I'm sure. So um, there is a farewell to Dave party on June the 15th. Mr. McTavish is um, retiring from his post as head of Park and Rec, and I think he's been a fixture in town for how many years? Forty. For well, forty years, and um, there is a party in his honor at the um, Legion mm -hmm. on the twenty on June the fifteenth, starting at six p.m. Come one, come all. Right. Mm -hmm. So if anybody would, I, he has touched many. Yeah, he certainly has. Over Absolutely. those 40 years. So Absolutely. you would like to wish him the best. If, if people can attend and they want to send a note, they, they should just email him. Or, mm -hmm. Okay. Wonderful. So we could do that as well. Great. Thank you. Well, if there is nothing further, then I would take a motion to adjourn. Second. Uh -huh. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good night. Thank you and happy summer to everyone. Thank you.